Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and in this video, I just wanted to do a quick, um, this quick talk on basically the summer prelims that just happened. I just got back from Seattle. Seattle is like a great venue, by the way. Shout out to John O for hosting the hosting the event there. Um, yeah, so basically, back from the prelims. Obviously, I didn't make top eight. I ended up going one two, which is a little bit better than spring. I went o two in spring got super tilted from that but this time it was a bit better I was pretty happy with my play I feel like all the games I lost I really couldn't do anything differently to have a different outcome uh, basically it came down to lineups which I will talk about in this video so uh, before the event when I was preparing I was expecting a lot of broke back lineups so broke back lineups being Yogg Druid, Zoo Warlock, Aggro Shaman and Dragon Warrior um, I was like pretty correct on my predictions as we can see from the top 8 and throughout in de from the data um, there was statistically a, a majority of pretty much all aggro shamans um, there were some exceptions of course um, there were a lot of zoo locks more than more zoo locks than reno locks um, a lot of people brought yog, sh yog druid and uh, there was a mix between like Dragon Warriors and Cthune Warriors mainly. Um, of course there are some, a lot of people did bring this Brokeback lineup and may have switched like maybe one deck so maybe some people probably switched out like the Druid or the Zulok for a Freeze Mage or for a Palad for an Azoth Paladin. But um, in general the majority of people brought the we're at the top tier decks, so Druid, Shaman, um, Warrior, and Warlock. So, um, in my response to it, the decks I brought were Freeze Mage, uh, Yogg Token Druid, Control Shaman, and Azoth Warrior. All my decks did have Yogg Surround in it, mainly because I felt like that card is just too good. Uh, it, where in situations where you're behind, you just drop Yogg, and it just gives you the potential to straight up win the game off of one card, which is which is not right it's not fair but when you're playing decks with spells in it you might as well play Yogg just for that re chance of winning the game that you shouldn't be winning and it did work out for me in some cases um so yeah this is my freeze mage list pretty standard list uh the only difference is that i am playing the Yogg Saron instead of the uh instead of the standard mirror image or second ice barrier um, I felt like Yogg Saron would be a decent addition mainly because there are times when you're playing Freeze Mage where you're in a spot where nothing could save you. No matter what you do, you might be able to stall a few turns, but no matter what you're going to what you do, you can't come back from the game. It's just you're too far behind, you're too far low on you're too low on life. Uh, you spent all your cards killing minions early on and then now you're facing the mid late game and you can't deal with board anymore. So in those times, that's when you drop Yogg, and sometimes you get a little lucky, clears the board, heals you, draws you some cards, refill you. Um, basically Yogg Saron can steal games sometimes, especially in Freeze Mage when most of your deck is spells. Um, of course it is risky, like you could burn your burn cards, you could run into fatigue, you might take your own face damage, but you're only dropping Yogg when you're in a spot where you're not winning the game anyways. So if you get unlucky from the Yogg, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's my theory with Yogg in this deck. Um, Freeze Mage did okay for me. It, it did get banned in one out of my three series. Um, but it did win. It did win its game in, games in the other two. At most it took one try to win with the deck. So Freeze Mage did pretty well for me. It's a deck that, I'm, that I played a, play a lot of. I'm real, I feel like I'm pretty experienced with it. So it's more of a comfort comfort deck for me. Like in tournaments like these, I would like to bring some comfort decks, and Freeze Mage is one of them. Um, the next deck, Yogg Druid. Try I. It doesn't really suit my lineup. Uh, my lineup as a whole tries to target Zoo Zoo Warlocks and Aggro Shamans mainly. Um, Druid's like kind of in that spot on the edge of fitting in with my lineup and just being there because it's Druid and could do Druid things with Innervates. Um, so that's, yeah, and it's got Yogg's around too, but, um, like the matchups, I would think Druid is kind of like, it's kind of like even across the board, so which is why I brought it. 
Um, unfortunately, Druid was my most underperforming deck for me. It lost me the most games. Um, mainly, it's not that people abused or anything. I just kind of lost on the draws. Um, nothing like Druid kind of plays itself sometimes. There are some decisions that are made, but in the end, I felt like I played the deck fine. It just didn't perform as well as I had liked it to. Um, but yeah, pretty standard Druid list. I am running Druid Claws instead of things like Feral Rage and Savage Roar, mainly because I wanted the Taunt Body or either the Extra Charge Attack. Um, next deck. Control Shaman actually did the best for me. It won first try in every series. Um, it's a deck that I've been practicing a lot of recently, just for to prepare for this for this tournament. Um, again, targeting aggro like everything else, and it did really well. Um, yeah, no complaints about this deck. I I do feel like I like it a lot because it is kind of similar to Freeze Mage, where you set up Doomsayer so you could drop like a big boy, and then taunt it up and stuff. Yogg-Saron won me a game against Freeze Mage, which. Um, you should never win against Freeze Mage, but it did because I got like an Ice Block, then I was able to heal up after and the Freeze Mage had no more cards left. So yeah, um, I'm happy with Control Shaman in the prelims. And also I, w I have to admit, I'm not the greatest at Aggro Shaman, so I felt like I wouldn't be able to play Aggro Shaman at its best. So Control Shaman fit my lineup better and more towards my playstyle. My last deck was Warrior. I didn't expect to play this deck at all during the tournament because Warrior was getting banned almost every time by everyone. Um, except I did get to play it in the second series, but that's because my opponent's decks were targeting Warrior. So he had uh, Nazos, Divine Shield, Midrange Paladin, Midrange Shaman, um, a kind of heavy Druidless, and um, Control Warrior. Um, and my lineup bans Control Warrior every time because I am playing the Freeze Mage. Um, I'm playing Control Shaman without Nazos can't really beat Control Warrior. And my own Control Warrior might just can't beat Control Warriors as well. Especially if they're playing the uh, Psycho Cthulhu Warrior, it's a hard matchup. So, um, yeah, I brought Warrior. I would assume it was going to get banned every time. It, But, yeah. It's, overall this is a pretty good list, it is Fibonacci's list minus Baron Geddon for one more brawl. Um, again, Yogg's around because you got a decent amount of spells, and reset button. This deck is pretty good against aggro because of your double revenge, your ba your bashes, and it's good against control because you got the Nazos and Elise. So overall it's a pretty strong deck. Again, didn't really get to play it much at all in the tournament, but that's kind of expected. Um, so overall, like... So, overall I think the tournament was pretty pretty good, obviously I would have liked to do better, get further in. Um, if I would have changed anything, I wouldn't have changed any of my plays or how I, I I'm pretty happy of how I performed in the tournament. Uh, I would have, if I could do it again, I would probably change the Druid for either a Zulok or... Uh, control Paladin, probably any Finn Paladin. I was going to bring any Finn to the tournament, but I didn't get enough practice with it, so I wasn't comfortable enough. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just again like one of those tournaments where you bring out control and kind of get punished for it. But mainly, I think my lineup would have been would have done a lot better if I did Q against the meta, the meta being the broke back decks. But unfortunately, I didn't Q into that. A lot of people that. The people I played against were playing things like OTK Warrior, Freeze Mage, um, that weird Paladin, Midrange Shaman. So I didn't get to play against the matchups I wanted to play, which is a little unfortunate. But that's how things go sometimes. And HTT is a really hard tournament to get through. Um, you, there's a lot of you have to prepare a lot, play a lot. And I'm really excited for the top eight. I think the people that made top eight really deserve it. I'm rooting for my friends Dude7597 and Hot Meows to make it through to the finals because they've been, they've been grinding and playing so much of, of this game, it's crazy. But yeah, that's all guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feedback, please feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. Also follow me on Twitch and Twitter where I do streams and follow me on my daily stuff. So. Yeah guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. You're already getting good value off this. It's effect. 
And the fact that it's a one man one three is pretty good in Zoo, especially when you have like Direwolf and Abusive Sergeants for the Imp to trade up. So, uh, as, and maybe this card could synergize well with the Librarian. It's the two mana three two Battlecry discarded card, Death Rattle Drop.